Hello, this is Serb Atheist. Now, I know I've been very lazy and have not been making videos in quite a while, but I promise that is going to change starting this instant. Okay, so, this video, I will talk about the sad truth on atheism why armies of atheists come to YouTube and post their videos day after day after day. What is it about YouTube atheism and uh, YouTube and atheism that was simply a match made in heaven? What is the secret behind all of this? Well, if you're a theist and listening, I'm now going to share that secret with you. And here's the secret. We are all full of shit. That's right. We are all completely full of it. When I say that, I don't mean that we do not sincerely believe that atheism is true. No, quite the contrary. I'm saying that that entire mantra of living your life to the fullest is as scary as a proposition for an atheist as it is for a theist. The only difference is that theists wash down this fear with a hefty dose of religion whereas we face it bare, naked, vulnerable. We are painfully aware that we have only one life and that it's slipping away every single second that we record a YouTube video and there is nothing that can take these moments of time back. See, that's the thing. It's, it's, it's one thing to know the truth about our fragile little existence that is the lack of a benevolent father figure that will help us guide it that will help guide us through all of this it's one thing to know that that's not the case and that we are in it for ourselves it is a completely different proposition to actually live this life out um, we are just as scared of living our life to the fullest. We have just as many things holding us back. And we just as well feel that we could be doing much more with our lives. And that is the sad truth of atheism. So why do we come back to atheism? Well, quite simply, when you feel overwhelmed by life, when you really feel like like you really cannot go through with the grand little vision you have in your head about how your life is supposed to be when you really cannot act congruently with integrity because you're too big of a coward for whatever reason to put this integrity to the actual test um, us atheists can always fall back on atheism as the one thing that where we can really feel proud in ourselves where our belief our sense of self is really as strong as as we present it especially especially which is uh, that those people who have deconverted into atheism from religion into atheism can really look upon what they did as as a tremendous achievement requiring inordinate amounts of willpower and a very difficult psychological situation to deal and overcome which is apparent from all those deconversion stories so whenever we feel like we're facing tough challenges in life 
we can always fall back on atheism which is a simple challenge very simple it's really the one area in our life that every single atheist I know has rock solid beliefs where really things are working perfectly I, I, I cannot imagine living my life as a religious person torturing myself day to day over what is it that God wants me to do how can a loving God create this cruel world things like that <laughs> I feel sorry I really feel sorry for theists they have to deal with that crap every single day that they have raw sewage pumping where there should be crystal clear water in their head but every single person has things holding them back every single person does not live their life to the fullest every single person could be doing more every single person could be experiencing life with more gratitude with more emotion, with more aliveness every single person and atheism is just a fallback position that's why we love debating theists it's not because we're subconsciously unsure and, and feel the need to prove that there doesn't exist a God every single day it's really the opposite we're so damn sure that debating theists is effortless whatever point you make we can answer it right away I don't even have to think about it and it's not like let's say I'm debating Balkan history and Balkan present I mean being a Serb I get into these uh, discussions a lot it's not like I can be absolutely sure what I'm talking about I, I never I never operated inside Milosevic's head or any of the other uh, people playing a major, major role. I don't know what they were thinking. I, 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 do, I didn't have spy cameras in the many historic secret meetings to know what it is they were doing. You know, I'm just taking information from all sorts of sides and trying to form my opinion. I cannot debate anything with any degree of certainty. But when, when I'm debating theists, it's effortless. Anything you say, we can shoot down easily that's how strong our position is all you have on your side is a hefty dose of wishful thinking uh, emotional appeal and and flabbergasting hypocrisy of the kind that would make any person debating you lose respect if it was any other any other debating topic you would be busted like this that is why we like debating theism and fighting theists it's so damn easy it's our fallback it's our comfort blanket whenever other challenges are way too overwhelming for us I mean all I have to do is look at the sort of the kind of people that have actually like really taken it to heart and, and turned it into a crusade I mean, sure, political action in terms of rights of atheists, yes, that's a really difficult, that's a really wordy battle. But spending hours debating some stupid fundy that's not even going to change his opinion or just simply making fun of him, that's not, there's really no necessity. We do it just for fun we do it because it's the easy thing to do Be because we have stashed away the hard things we have to do in the closet like really when when I'm when I'm really living my life I don't come here for a month at least so that's the sad truth about atheism our position is so much stronger that you know debating theists is like you know shooting fish in a barrel so to speak sorry your side is that pathetic what can I do bye